terrible thing happened to me again last night. Nothing. <laughs> no, I take that back. Something awful did happen. A peeping Tom called me on the phone hysterically begging me to draw my shades. <laughs> Eating. Phyllis Diller is just one of a group of trailblazing comedians who paved the way for women in comedy today. A new book traces that history. It's called In on the Joke, the original queens of stand-up comedy. Author Sean Levy joins us now. Good morning. Thanks for being with us. Howdy. So, you know, we see all, we, we think that this, you know, women in comedy is a, is a new thing, but there were women that were packing houses way back when. Gosh, uh, even before World War II, but really the women that I'm tracing go from about World War II to Woodstock, so f late 40s, 50s, and 60s. And I think th there was always this notion by some that women couldn't be funny, and there always seemed to be more men in, in, that, in that world. Uh, what happened along the way that, that things changed? Well, I think even today we think of comedy, it's kind of an aggressive form. You know, it's the mm. only entertainment where we feel entitled to heckle or even slap the performer. And in, in, in an age when women were considered more docile or, or less, less, you know, uh, possessed of less inner strength, that, that was the sentiment in the world of comedy. But there were these women like Moms Mabley, Minnie Pearl, Phyllis Diller, early pioneers. Yeah. Well, let's, take them, let, that. let's take them one at a time, because many of our viewers may not recall Moms uh, Mabley. So can, maybe we could take a look uh, and talk a little bit about her. Sure. Moms was uh, a black entertainer who worked primarily in what was known as the Chitlin Circuit in the 40s and 50s. She broke in with white audiences and mainstream TV audiences in the 60s when she was in her 70s. Mm. And she became a national star the last 10 years or so of her life. And Minnie Pearl, we remember, uh, you know, she had the hat with the price tag on it, right? Yeah, Minnie was the star of the Grand Old Opry from the early 1940s until her death in the 1990s. So for 50 years, she was doing stand-up in a world that was dominated by, by male entertainers. And she was a singular presence. She was, she was a character. She, she was a college-educated woman, but she played this, you know, um, what was known then as a hillbilly, mm -hmm. and that was her comedy shtick. So did people like Moms and, and Minnie Pearl, did they make the money men were making? Did they, did, I mean, did they get what they deserved to be paid? No, not nearly. Um, you know, you, we're talking about a time when, you know, before what, what would later be known as first wave feminism, and the pay scales were ridiculously tilted in favor of men. Um, there, were, there were male comedians making $100,000 a week, and the women were lucky to get five and ten. Uh, and that's wow. still good money, but not in that field. And there's Phyllis Diller. Tell us about her. Phyllis Diller was sort of like the Elvis Presley. You know, there were people before her who, who were big, but she's the one who really knocked the door open. And um, she was a 37-year-old mother of five in the mid-1950s when she began wow. her entertainment career. I didn't know that. Yeah, I think huh. I heard an interview with uh, Melissa Rivers, Joan Rivers' daughter, saying that Joan was good friends with her, and she was beautiful. I mean, a beautiful woman, and, and she made herself this character. <laughs> That's right. You know, in, in this period I'm talking about, women, if they approached a microphone alone on a stage, everyone thought they would be singing. So if mm. they were going to do comedy, they really had to oversell it. Moms Mabley dressed as an old maid, even though when she was in her 30s. Uh -huh. Minnie, Minnie Pearl with the silly hat. Phyllis Diller with the crazy electrocuted hair and the <laughs> garret dresses. So they really had to pretend to be something other than women wow. or attractive women in order to get laughs. Huh. But that was not the case with Joan Rivers. No, Joan is Joan is the modern comedian. She, she's really the first one. If, if Phyllis is Elvis Presley, then Joan is the Beatles. She's got all the tools of the comedians who came before her, the women in comedy before her, but then she brings something else. She's. She's playing a character, but the character is based so closely on her own life and the reality of her experiences that no matter what happened to her, she made jokes about it. She, you know, she resembles most people like Amy Schumer or Ali Wong, Sarah Silverman.
Silverman, Tiffany Haddish, modern comedians who are dealing with current events and their own current lives. Well, it's fascinating. It's uh, the uh, you're the author of uh, In on the Joke, uh, and uh, that's Sean Levy joining us. And thanks so much. There's the info on how to pick up the book. Thanks for being with us. Thanks so much.